Khan, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? for this, our main event of the evening. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height and some differences in reach. And once again, here is the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC heavyweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. Make his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of St. Petersburg, Russia, presenting the challenger, Big Daddy. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fight. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go. The weight and the height gives way to the action right here on one side. Maybe the division's most well-rounded fighter, taking on arguably the biggest submission threat in this division. Because he's such a great submission grappler, I believe that this is the most dangerous fight for him in the division. Wow. He needs to maintain his space, stay away from this guy at all costs, and force him to stand up for him. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Landed that one. to the body. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Just unable to quite find that range. 
His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from this clinch position. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good match. Nice combination of kicks there by Lee. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Nice leg kick lands. And continues with the inside leg kick. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Counters with the left hook. Nicely done there. Tries to work it into a takedown. Big punch land through the middle. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, collar tie. Real sneaky body kick. Oh, and there's a kick to the body, not having that one blocked by Lee. Watch knees to the body. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, big head kick lands. Nice punch lands. Trying to establish that jab once again. Switching stances here. Back and forth we go here! Right up the elbow, the body kick lands. Big kick lands. Nice leg kick there by Lee. And they separate. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? And he lands the knee to the body now. Nice one-two there. Over and over, he's landed some big body kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Very nice leg kick there by Luke. Good punch. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet. When he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Good jab. 20 seconds to go in round one. Just misses with the straight left hand. Final seconds here of round one. He blocks the punch. Round two straight ahead. Right now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides here. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did. And they both found success over the course of that round. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not headhunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase his finish. 
connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Continuing to work the body to great effect. Straight right hand, no good. Oh, here's the head kick, it's blocked. Wow, huge head kick. Good stick. Superman punch. Beautiful body kick. Oh, single collar tie here. That shot blocked by Lee. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop throwing. Right, let's go. Let's go. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Take him down. Nice, nice knee to the midsection there. That is... Oh, man, this dude is good. There's another takedown attempt. Oh, nice. Just missed with the left there. Not there. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Lee. Oh, big punch land. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Big knee there. Oh, misses with the jab. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Nice kick. Just missed with the straight left hand. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Nice move to punch. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. A timely defense there, huge block for him. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. Right hand punch with the clinch. Lee gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Oh, that's a nice straight punch there. Through the punch, got to the target. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Lee gets caught by that flush straight punch. Nice job by the offense there. All right, round three coming up next. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust 
and stop him from landing these over and over. You snap out of it. You're taking too much damage. You have to start defending yourself, or I'm going to stop the fight. you got to keep your hands up. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this round. When he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Let's, let's get going. Beautiful strike. Liver oh, that's a pretty filthy combination there by Lee. Just misses there with the left. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Right hand upstairs. Leg kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Nice, sneaky head kick. And he landed the right hand there. Stuff the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Lee gets hit with a kick. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Punch is blocked. Ooh, big shot lands. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Trademark inside leg kick there by Lee. Just misses with the jab there. Just over three minutes to go. Big kick land. Beautiful counter punch, really settling in when it comes to his counter attack here tonight. And again, making good use of what is a huge advantage in reach. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. What a head kick. Oh, nice. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that pitch. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, just misses with the kick. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Hands up, hands up. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed his kick with so much force. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Nice strike. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big head kick lands. the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Big knee to the body. Well, he lands another effective punch there, DC. And again, we talk a lot about that reach advantage. He certainly made it count in that situation. Oh, 
All right, there's the clap for 10 seconds to go. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Oh, nice knee to the body. Just what he needed there. Ooh, what a punch. Punch. Mm -hmm. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that one. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. you got to get back off that stool. And this is a real test of your will and desire to win a fight. He continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Beautifully timed and place kick there by Lee. Oh, nice. Nice. Circling to his right. Kick to the body now. And there comes the separation now. He gets to his spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees fly. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Got him whip his hip into that kick. Just over three minutes to go. When he drops his head. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. He's able to slip the leg. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Oh, just misses with the kick. Distance gets the single collar tie, and they set. Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now we got to find that follow up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh, what is that? Whoa! Oh, worked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. Well, I'm not sure how much more damage he can take to the body. You may want to drop that elbow defensively. Of course, that opens you up to damage upstairs. Pick your poison for him here as he continues to absorb damage. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Oh, 
Look at him with his hips oh. back here. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. What a fight. Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you got to protect the fighter. And I thought he did a good job of doing just that. So there he is, the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, and getting it done with a flurry of strikes here tonight. He is your winner by TKO. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 21 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO, and still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion Still the baddest man on the planet. I know you haven't retired yet, but uh, I don't necessarily want to see you share the octagon with that monster. I mean, this dude is a savage. There is prestige in being called the UFC heavyweight champion. He remains that. He is the standard by which all heavyweights are measured.